everyone, welcome back to the Nuzlocke. All right, we're continuing off from the last video. Um, as you can see, I'm starting off into the middle town. You didn't miss much between that time frame. All I did was just teach Peach his ancient power. That's it. Anyway, so we're done with the middle town, so we're on, so we're about to head off to Anastar City, finally. I'm hoping I did the, yeah. Now I'm riding on the memo swine. Okay, fine. Oops. Well, I failed in getting an encounter. Probably for the best it wasn't Deadly Bird anyway. This time, I challenge you to a bow in front of Enosaur City's gym. Prepare yourself. <sighs> Thanks for the warning. I completely forgot about that. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, a piece of candy. I'm gonna give it a peaches because she's like, because I have told her. Yeah. Hi, it's in here. Here you go, Peaches. <laughs> Mammo Swine! This is funny, we just rode a mammal swine and now we got a mammal swine! Now I'm just gonna quickly do a little quick check for items around the area. Okay. You there! I came to in place of Dexio to tell you something. There's a person here in Anastar City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put them to good use. Oh, thank you. Yeah, even though they're... Lock. Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were going to be rivals back in the cafe in Lumio City, after all. Four on four. All right. Oh, and for once, I'm not using a Pokemon weak against it. I'm using Chompy. Yikes. That's fine. We're already in NSO. Whoa, hello. Eh. Uh. Nah. I like the moves Paige knows already. Jump! 
zombie hit the level cap? Whatever, Marcel. Well, that is just scary. I did not know a new aura beam. Oh, that is, this is risky. This is extremely risky. Oh, hey, um. You bitch. She bloody tricked me. I was expecting another Aurora Beam. I should have just let Pumpkin fight. Why didn't I? My Pokemon is so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. Anyway, I'll hear your Pokemon here. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it. Well, she... She's a witch! She's a witch! She brought back... She brought back Peaches, but Peaches is dead. Why am my favorite Pokemon taking that getting taken down? Anyway, we can now face the next gym. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have Chompy lead the charge here. Who do I want here? Uh, obviously I want a Nala. I wanted Freya, and I also wanted Shroom. And uh, what the hell? I'll leave Paige. And a start, Jim. Something's off of this gym. Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Hey, that's my line. Battle begins. Sigilus. Okay. Jumping, crunch. Good for you, Shroom. Whoa! Hello! Yes, boys. Now I need someone to learn Sunny Day. Fast! Slow King. Um... Why not?
But Freya's Mega Evolve form, she'll be fine. Unless it knows that. How about we? I think that'll be fine. Alright. I'm gonna use this opportunity to switch. Um, who should I switch it for? Good for you, Chompy. What was that? Now the Psychic Badge, a testament to your skill, proof of your power. The symbol of trust of level 9 or below, Pokemon Obey. Power that grants life awakens, voices flow, that is your future. Back from whence you came, you can be transported there. Warp to the entrance. Farewell. Alright, so we've now got the next gym badge, finally got the seventh gym badge. And now the, which I'm happy about because the level cap after that is much bigger. It's 59. Is that Team Flare, dude? I'm sure getting the Psychic Badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Locke? I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is all said and done. Seems like the neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling through trainers is best way to get stronger after all. What could this be? Pokemon trainers, I come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return the world to a beautiful, natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will become ugly and conflicts will raise the land from end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon to wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry, those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is a deal to you all. What was Lysander saying? Wiping the slate clean, eliminating everyone but Team Flare? Look, let's look for Team Flare's headquarters. Where could Lysander be? Perhaps he's where we first met him in Lumio City. I'm curious why there's Team Flare guys here. Ah, that's why they're there. They give you clues to where he is. All right, but first things first, I need to heal up my Pokemon after that and decide who my team will be for the next gym, of course. Uh, I am putting K 
Keeping Freya, Nala, and Paige up, obviously, because they're Pokemon who can fight ice types. Who amongst the rest of the team can I add? Obviously, Stark. I mean, I would love to keep Chompy, but he doesn't know a move that can fight ice types. Uh, I will add Ribbit, because he knows Smackdown. And, duh, obviously, Landon. Alright. Now that we got that all sorted, let's fly... Ro wrong Pokemon. Alright, flying to Lumio City, we'll go to the center. I actually need a map we're about to do next, because it's a big place. Ah, yeah, wrong place. Um, I sent labs, that's what I meant. This is where we're supposed to be. Today's special is scramble if you don't get out of here now. A team flare grunt who's a waitress. Okay, I'll bite. At this rate, he'll figure out there's a hidden door to the Santa Labs. Oh no, he'll find out the password to the hidden doors in this cafe is open sesame. Wait, the king, right? My Sander Lab, so that's where it is. Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket, or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle! Wait, so we battle him now? I thought we battle him later on, when he's all cyborgy. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Nala always wins. Tough with the Gyarados. Worst part is I'm gonna have to battle it again. <laughs> your conventions of those of your Pokemon please me. You're here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was just too vast and too full of fools so that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I think and feel. Try and stop the ultimate weapon if you must. 
But to do so, you will have to explore our lab and have Pokemon battles of all you meet. Oh, and as for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists you've met on your journey has it. Saving everything. The world is suffering because of the absurd dream. <laughs> Why isn't that fascinating little trainer from the Carlos Power Plant suing me again, just as I said we would? Oh yeah, when I lost Catherine. Revenge for Catherine! I don't have the key, but I'll let you pass. But which weapon would it be? Which one could it be? Well, I don't know. Maybe this map I have will help. No sign of him here either. You, have you seen anything? We're looking for a really tall guy. And I mean tall, if you stress out a survivor and stood it up, he'd be that tall. We received some intelligence that Team Flare is also trying to find some find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flare is still a mystery, but Oh by the way, I've got something for you to take take these with your lock. Thanks. Oh wait, we met some time ago, but I didn't get your name then. I've never heard of your name before, not once. Uh anyway. We came here at a certain professor's request to stop Team Flare. I assume your goal is the same. Don't do anything reckless, okay? Right. Huh? 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 I see him just came from. Who is- so who is he? I have no idea. But he's obviously- he, he's not- it. Team Flare. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. Then I'll get in the first blow. Please tell me she's gonna... Please tell me I get time to heal. Oh, what a brute. Look at poor Kelesia. I know you get time to heal Freya? Come on, I need to heal Freya.
What's this? Who wouldn't have thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon were early in sinking that battle, and I know why. You're here for answers, aren't you? I suppose we're at your mercy. I'll tell you what, I know at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that's all we need to use it. Are you following me? We'll need the energy absorbed from the Pokemon to power the device. Yes, it's the stones on Route 10 that will steal that energy for us. Power the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that line Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. Graves? When the ultimate weapon was used to end that horrible war over 3,000 years ago, it stole the lives of all those Pokemon. Their lives were in price of peace then. And if we want to make our own wishes come true today, we we in Team Flare also have to sacrifice something precious. Okay. Look at that timing. All right, so unfortunately my camera is out of battery, so I'm gonna have to end the video here. Normally I would continue, but we already have the gym battle in here, if that's a thing. So it's already going to be a long video. Anyway, so, tune in next time for part 2 against Team Flare. Please like and subscribe, and hope to see everyone next time.